Hello, in this video we're going to be testing out carbon fibre reinforced PLA filament to see how much more rigid it is. Now we need a hardened steel tool head to print with this because it's abrasive, so I'm going to be using the Lulzbot HS 1.2mm nozzle, which is based on an E3D Titan Aero extruder, and it's got that 1.2mm hardened steel nozzle on. So as well as being able to print with a more rigid filament, hopefully we'll find that those parts are much tougher. I've printed lots of things with the Lulzbot Moore extruder, which has the same size nozzle, generally to make really tough parts and you should check out the video that Stefan made from CNC Kitchen which compares the strength of parts with the extrusion width. I'm going to be using Matter Hacker's Carbon Fibre Reinforced PLA which is their Pro Series filament for these tests and also comparing with normal PLA. I've in fact printed three parts, I've printed two of them with the HS 1.2mm hardened steel nozzle, one in carbon fibre and one in normal PLA, and I've also printed another one with a 0.5mm nozzle in normal PLA. So all of these are printed with solid infill, so it's a fair comparison, and now we're going to try bending them to see which one is more rigid. So I've clamped all three of these to the edge of the table with a piece of wood, and we're going to pull them down, and I've got one of these weighing scales that's going to tell me how much force we're applying and then we can see which one of these is more rigid. So those should all be roughly level to start with and what we're going to do is pull them all down with the weighing scales until we hit the bottom edge of this paper based on the camera angle and that'll tell us how much force there is. So let's uh, zero that and we'll do the green one first. Okay. So that's saying 5.3 or 5.4 kilograms. Let's go for the 1.2mm nozzle in normal filament. So again, that's about, about only 5 kilograms, surprisingly. So the part might be tougher, but it's actually more flexible. And let's go for the carbon fibre now, if I can get that on there. So that's saying 5.8, so... Uh, Somewhere there, 5.7, 5.8 to get to the edge there. So pretty much slightly more rigid than the other two, but only slightly. So even though my tests are pretty casual, we can see a rough guide is that we got 4.7 on this one, remember, and 5.7 kilograms on this one. So that's about 20% more rigid, 21%, something like that. So it is much more rigid, and hopefully with that 1.2mm nozzle, we get stronger parts as well, because the extrusions are fatter, that means layer bonding is better, and the parts are generally stronger. So now I'm going to build a bigger structure out of carbon fibre reinforced PLA, and hopefully see what sort of load we can put on it. So here it is, all of the black filament is of course Matter Hackers Pro Series Carbon Fibre Reinforced PLA and all of the white filament is Matter Hackers Tough PLA, we don't really need to reinforce that because those pieces are triangles anyway so it should be quite rigid. And I've bolted it all the way through with M8 studding and lock nuts on the end, so let's see what sort of load it will take. 
Right, so here we are, I've put it in between two boxes and we're going to put some mass on, mainly me, to see, uh, see if that's going to hold. And I'm pretty sure it will, actually. Yep, think I can just stand on that. That's the box creaking, not the prints. Yep. Good, no problems there. Yeah, not sure what to do with it now. I guess we might as well ride it. So it's still in one piece, that's actually much stronger than I thought it would be even. I've probably over-engineered that slightly just due to the thickness of all these parts that are on here. So it uh, probably could have been much thinner and um, we'd have seen if it had broken then. But there we go, I used four rolls of Matter Hackers Pro Series Carbon Fibre Reinforced PLA, which is four pounds in weight and each pound is about 450 grams. And another roll, which I think is two pounds in weight, of Matter Hackers Tough PLA, which is all the white stuff there, and just normal skateboard wheels off eBay or wherever. So I'm um, pretty sure that structure's quite strong as well. This would make quite a good um, electric longboard for cruising, because there's loads of space in the cavities, but the batteries, of course, so that could work out quite well as another project. So don't forget to check out some more projects in my channel, robots, things like that, and don't forget to subscribe for more one-off projects like this. All right, that's all for now.